the results of the dashes of K2. All right, and this is chapter 61 of Brihat Parashar Horashastra. So when K2 is conjoined with the Lord of the Ascendant and is posited in an angle, trine, or conjoined with the Lord of the fourth house and posited in the eleventh house, or associated with the ninth or tenth Lord, then in the Mahadasha of K2 and Antardasha of K2, there will be gain of wealth, prosperity, animals, comforts of wife and children, so we go similar things with Rahu, affection of the king, but the person will have mental anguish. So even though there's a lot of success, K2 still gives mental anguish. Why? Because when you start to get all these things, then you have to take care of them, and then you get attached to them. Remember, K2 is about not being attached to things. There will also be acquisition of a village or a big estate, land, accumulation of cows, which represents wealth. So what is this again? When K2 is conjoined with the Lord of the Ascendant and is posited in an angle or trine. So that's number one. Lord of the Ascendant with K2 and posited in an angle or a trine. Number one. Or conjoined with the Lord of the fourth house and posited in the eleventh house. So now we have if K2 is with the fourth house in the eleventh house, that's good. Or associated with the ninth or tenth Lord. So when K2 gets associated with the ninth or tenth Lord, remember this creates a Raj Yoga as well assuming nothing's blocking it. So these are the three things you want to look for to see is, is the K2 dasha going to be good. Now, Brihat Parashara then goes on to say, if K2 is placed in its sign of debilitation or with a combust planet, if K2 is placed in the 8th or the 12th house, it can cause heart ailment, defamation, loss of wealth, food, grains, and animals, distress to wife and children, and mental anxiety. Now, this is if K2 is in its sign of debilitation, and what I want you to pay attention to with that is if the Lord of K2 is in its sign of debilitation. So if the Lord of K2 uh, is in its sign of debilitation, then, then this happens. Or if uh, K2 is with a combust planet, posited in the 8th or 12th house. So what we have to remember with Brihat Parashara, there are these lists of things. So before we had three things. Um, Lord of the Ascendant, in an angle, trine, or fourth house, conjoined with the fourth house Lord, in the eleventh house, or associated with the ninth house. Now in this negative aspect, it says all of these things have to happen together. K2 has to be placed in its debilitation sign, that's number one, um, and posited in the eighth or twelfth house, so then we get these negative things. Or, um, if K2 is with a combust planet, and posited in the 8th or 12th house. So keep that in mind. Then we get heart ailment, defamation, loss of wealth, food, grains, animals, distress to wife and children, and mental anxiety. Now it goes on. Placement of K2 in the 2nd or the 7th house, or associated with their lords, it will manifest ill health, agony, or grief from co-borns. And so again, very similar, what happens when you have these things, what's recommended, What's recommended is to perform the Mahabharata Injaya mantra. You can also do japa or mantra re repetition to the goddess Durga. And if you do this, then K2 will bestow peace on you. So again, you see this coming up, you see this in your chart, you see this in a client, then you say, do the Mahabharata Injaya mantra. You say, do japa to the goddess Durga until you feel well. And then you don't have to worry about it. No. Oh. So these are how you determine whether the, the dashas of Rahu and K2 are going to be difficult or if they're going to be um, easy and uplifting and cause you gain because the nodes can do that as well.